Okay, so I guess the first question comes from Crypto Dealer, and the question is, what's your opinion about Bitcoin adoption in El Salvador? So I guess the question is, what's my opinion on the legal tender law that was passed to make Bitcoin legal tender in El Salvador? So I have a strong and very positive, a strong positive opinion about that. I believe that this is a very uh, important um, and historical milestone for Bitcoin that uh, a country decides to use Bitcoin as legal tender. As you guys know, as um, when a currency is used as legal tender in a country, everyone is obliged to accept that uh, currency for goods and services. And also, for example, for debt repayment, uh, so, for example, let's suppose you have a debt with your bank and uh, you have a mortgage, for example. So the banks in El Salvador are now, uh, they have to accept Bitcoin as payment. So, for example, you can use Bitcoin to pay the rest of your mortgage or you can go somewhere and buy or go out for dinner and the restaurant will have to accept Bitcoin, of course. Some people are saying that uh, this is not very good because uh, it's like forcing people to accept Bitcoin and Bitcoin should be uh, considered uh, one of the bearers of uh, freedom and, and uh, you know, that old idea of the libertarians. But although I'm also a bit of a libertarian and I agree to that, I don't see this as forcing anyone to accept Bitcoin because as soon as you have... Uh, you know, like a service like BitPay or something like that, you can accept Bitcoin, but immediately on the fly, they will transfer to your account dollars or whatever other currency that you choose. So no one is forced to keep the Bitcoin that they have to accept. So I don't see this as a forcing people to accept Bitcoin anywhere or to use Bitcoin anywhere. I see this as a move to have an alternative to the dollar uh, which is very, very important because, uh, you know, people on uh, different uh, poorer countries, I'm not, I don't like the term third world countries, so not as rich as first world countries. And I see people not uh, being able to leave that status and evolve or the countries have a better economy. So... In my opinion, this will allow everyone in El Salvador and probably in more countries now because the first one is the hardest and then after that it will more will come. And I see that as a very important move to help those countries to leave that cage where they are in because the first world countries always uh, want to maintain those countries there and do not allow them to evolve in their economy to be able to become better and for people to become uh, richer but I'm, I'm i'm not talking about becoming everyone becoming a millionaire i'm talking about they having uh, better conditions of life better income and better pro uh, possibilities to be banked because in el salvador for example 70 percent of the people are not banked it's a cash only economy and from now on, I guess this will open the doors to more possibilities and it's better to have another option on the side and not just use the dollar. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, in El Salvador, they don't have their own currency. So El Salvador uses the dollar as the main currency. And it was until last week, this was the only currency that was allowed in El Salvador. So they don't even have their own currency. So the government cannot, uh, you know, implement any any financial policies or anything like that so overall i think this is a great move for el salvador i think this is this will be be very good for the people that live there and this will be also very good for the investment external investment that will come to that country now because many uh, many companies are already saying many bitcoin companies or crypto companies as you like to call it uh, will come are already announcing that they will come to El Salvador and start to uh, have their businesses there or uh, headquarters there and El Salvador will also uh, help all those companies to install um, to come to the country and start their businesses there so I guess this will be a boost for the economy this will be very good for the people having the option 
to use a different currency that is not inflationary. So this is a currency that will be deflationary always. And that's the only one, by the way. I see some uh, crazy people saying that Ethereum is going to become deflationary because of the fees and uh, the burnouts of the fees and all that crazy stuff with uh, Ethereum 2.0. And that's a fucking lie. Because uh, when you don't have a uh, max supply of the currency, this will always be inflationary. Even if you burn all the fees and all the created new, newly created coins and all that, it will reduce the inflation of the coin, but it will still be inflationary. So the only currency right now that is not inflationary, it's actually deflationary, is Bitcoin. And I guess this will be very good for the people in El Salvador and the future countries that will come also. Uh, so that's my that's my opinion. I think it's very good. And by the way, on my personal level, I'm already uh, researching about El Salvador. I plan to go there. I plan to see with my own eyes what's happening in El Salvador. If not this year, probably the beginning of next year, I will be there. I want to check the Bitcoin Beach project. I want to see what Jack Mallers was doing there. And I will for sure try to understand if it's possible to start a company there. So I'm already thinking about it. I'm researching. I'm reading a lot about El Salvador. And this is just one of the things they achieved that many, many people just put El Salvador on the map. And they know and now know where this country is and researching about that country. Actually, if you go to Google, and this is very funny. Uh, let me just open my browser here. I hope I don't have my portfolio open. <laughs> Ah, no, uh, this is Twitter. So let me open a, um, <clears throat> a Google here, uh, Google Trends. Uh, here it is. And if you guys um, see I saw, uh, neither, oh, this is for Netherlands. No, I went to uh, worldwide and I want just the uh, past 90 days, for example. And look at that. Look how the, the searches about El Salvador started to grow as soon as the conference in Miami uh, announced that they will have Bitcoin as legal tender. So I guess a lot more people in the world are now uh, trying to research about El Salvador. Maybe, uh, you know, 50% of the world did not even know where this country is. But now I'm sure that they will be very known by everyone because in the media, everyone is talking about El Salvador. And I think this is great. I think it was a great move. Very, very courageous by the president to propose this in the parliament. And of course, he has the majority of the parliament, so it was very easy to approve this law. And the law, by the way, is not still, it's not yet uh, enforcing anything. So they, they introduced a 90 days period for the acceptance of Bitcoin to become active. So people will have this uh, three months period where they can prepare and they can start, you know, registering with services like BitPay or, or something like that, just to exchange a Bitcoin for US dollar if they don't want to keep the Bitcoin. Of course, I believe many people will want to keep the Bitcoin there because they know that it's a deflationary currency. So in any case, they will always, it will always grow in value and it will become a very good thing for commerce and services and all that. So uh, I was I was uh, going to Google Trends and seeing that everyone is now researching about El Salvador. And uh, it's very funny that the entire world, um, in average, the entire world is already uh, searching a lot in Google about El Salvador. And that's funny. So um, let's leave that there.